key dates, such as days your facilitator is going to be checking in with you, um, pacing dates, which will tell you where you should be in your course in order to help you successfully finish your online class. Uh, so for example, if you take a look down here and we select this key information, it says from Tuesday, August 14th to Thursday, August 16th, you're going to be completing some online credit recovery orientation. So pay attention to the key information on this calendar. The second area, um, we're going to skip orientation videos, you've already viewed all those. So let's go right to the page called, Don't What to Do When I Struggle. This is one of the most important pages found on this site. Let's just read what this description says. This section contains a page for each online credit recovery facilitator. Your facilitator's page is going to contain two different forms. First, an involuntary form for you to complete in order to receive a quiz reset. And voluntary means you have to complete it. Second, there's going to be a voluntary form that you may or may not choose to complete when you feel you're struggling. Let's take uh, an, uh, a view of what these look like more specifically. Let's say your facilitator is Mr. Pigman. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select, I'm going to find Pigman's page here. Here it is, Pigman Reset and Help page. And let's pretend that I'm a student in Mr. Pigman's class and I failed a quiz or a unit test two consecutive times. Now, before Mr. Pigman is going to reset that quiz for me and allow me to retake the quiz, I first, as the student, must complete the information in this form. And it's pretty darn basic. Name and ID number, name the class you're enrolled, the number of the unit that you're currently taking, and then the last two questions are what's important. One, why is it, do I as the student feel, I did pass this quiz or assessment? Now, please be honest. Your facilitator is going to use this information to better determine how to proceed with you before they reset the quiz. So be honest. Some options on here, uh, you don't really care, you're not motivated, you didn't read the lesson, you went straight to the quiz. Select all of them that apply. And the second one is a manual um, entry that gives you the ability to just share with you any, share with your teacher any thoughts you have about what's going on, maybe more specifically why you feel you didn't pass the quiz, etc., etc. So again, before your facilitator will reset your quiz, you first must complete this quiz reset form. Okay? Now, if you fail a quiz three times, you have to complete this reset form again. No, you're only going to complete this once um, if after you fail to take a quiz and pass after your second attempt. Now, the second piece of information on this page that you might find helpful is a help form. I know I, um, when I was a student, sometimes I felt uncomfortable going to talk to a teacher face to face. Perhaps that might be you as well. This is just a private form between you and your teacher where, uh, let's say you're working at home one day off campus, um, you're in Algebra 1 Semester 1 course, and you're really struggling with um, exponents, and you want your teacher to know. So if your teacher is Mr. Pigman, you'd find Mr. Pigman's page, which we happen to already be on, and I just fill out my name and ID number, select the class I'm enrolled, explain to Mr. Pigman what it is I'm struggling on. I am really struggling with exponents. May you help me. Okay? And you can be as specific or as vague as you want. Preferably, though, the more specific, the better. You might want to include other information on this page related to other things that might be going on um, that are uh, leading you to kind of struggle online. And then your facilitator, who in this case is Mr. Pigman, is going to receive this information. So note that that is also an option for you to complete as well. Okay? All right, moving forward. The next page um, on this website I want to talk about is the pacing guide. We're going to kind of have to go ahead and we're going to skip right to semester one, and we're going to open up this flip book, and this is going to tell me, the student, where it is I need to be as of each day in order to successfully finish my online class. Let's go ahead and open up the flip book. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And what I need to do is I need to find the table that has the number of units in my course. So if I'm taking a course with six units, I'm going to look at this first table. And it tells me, as of each date, 
where I should be working in each unit. So for example, as of October 1st, any student enrolled in a course with six units should be working on unit number two. As of November 14th, any student in a course with six units should be working in unit number four. Okay? These dates change based on how many units your class has. So use this table as a guide to help you better determine if you're on pace, ahead of pace, or hopefully not behind pace.